Hey Leo, welcome to your reading guys. This is going to be a reading for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Cross watchers are always welcome. Guys, I now invite most highest loving possible angels to help me to tune to your love, guidance, frequency, and messages, and so it is. This is going to be a reading for the sign of Leo. Please give Leo the most accurate and present messages available, Spirit. We love and thank you for your guidance. And so it is. Well, hey Leo, welcome to your reading. Let's see what is going on for the sign of Leo. Oh, Spirit's asking you to um, meditate and ask your angels for something let's see for success okay so you need to okay of letting go of something and it has something to do with a romance so wow okay so you have been having trouble uh, releasing the old um, maybe to uh, to be able to get yourself balanced so you're able to um, maybe eventually let someone else in but we will see guys let's see what what is going on for Leo okay so you're going in an X and God God, I want to be happy. Uh, like you see the long, lonely road here. Um, let me scooch over. This is about a new direction. Okay. That's exactly what I was thinking. <clears throat> um, because this has been a very difficult challenge. Uh, this is mountains, as you know, a very uh, rough terrain to climb. And you have been so stuck in that mentality that it's time to release what no longer serves you. Uh, this could be... Okay, uh, I'm seeing it as this person that you're trying to release um, has anchored in their friendship towards you. Um, and they are kind of, I want to say, nosing their way around your life to keep that, you know, that little finger on you. Oh, I got a finger on him right and if you have just one slight little finger right just like a spinning top if you put your finger on it it's still going to come to a dead stop so even if your life wants to spin as in the wheel of fortune right all it takes is for that little person to just damper your energy it stops spinning and that's yeah this is something to do with a man a masculine energy <clears throat> all right guys let's see <laughs> oh don't you think that they always have control I just I don't agree with that um, just like and that's when flame union uh, one person has to come in you know with those two wands just as the other one cannot work without the other. Um, I feel that they know that this isn't going anywhere, okay? But they're keeping their little finger on you. Okay, let's see. <laughs> and I don't want to say I because an I is just watching. No, this person actually has some tangibility on you. Tell me what I need to know. 
give me some advice yeah you need to take the and okay go out with your girlfriends it doesn't even mat matter if you don't want to go um it's spirits telling you okay go on the go on a new adventure and you're going to receive a gift a gift straight from the universe but you have to follow this instruction right here see God's coming in telling you look I'm about to to give you some action here and then you will receive the happiness <laughs> the road is going to look the road is a new direction okay see like look I'm starting brand new here doesn't matter how rocky a terrain it might get might get snowy might get right an avalanche but so what you're going and this person sees it so they're going to create drama show me the mountain haha <laughs> and look at this you have to take the new incentive the new initiative the new beginning in action okay see how it may be immature of you to to do this it, it's but it's brand new to you okay but they're telling you so what so what with us this has been a long mountain for you to climb anyway just in you doing this okay so don't even worry about the way this person feels worry about the way you feel look at the anchor you them anchoring in see you have your wand in your hand you have your world in your hand are you going to dictate are you going to let this person dictate you or are you going to dictate where you're going simple as that they chose this path for you because they see you moving on So they're going to anchor you so you don't go anywhere. You see what I'm saying? They see the path. And they say it's been treacherous for you to climb. But still, they're going to anchor this into you. You need to take a new path. Let's see. The, the pal, the dog, loose. But I have so many burdens right now. I really need your attention. Um, ring, ring. Imagine this as phone calls. Um, hey, I, uh, man, I just, I, I can't have this right now because I don't have the money, um, or, uh, my friend Shauna, which you know, right, is a very good friend of mine, um, really needs your, um, understanding and, you know, your partake in something, you know what I mean? It's just, um, the actions that this person puts you through being a pal a friend good old pal old friend of mine comes with a lot of burdens look at this nothing but the action it's too much on you look at this the bear show me the bear Ooh. so their boldness and braveness came in because they want their happiness so they took the initiative to come at you because they want everything and you have it all but a relationship and they say well you know what oh they they don't need one oh you going out to the show where are you going oh well I was kind of um maybe needing you around you know and it's anything to make something up just so you won't do anything because they want what you have they were bold and brave enough not to to anchor to all of this in like this is like a person that's like a leech that's what I'm seeing they want to they want to leech and and you know when a leech sucks on to they suck you dry and that's exactly what this person's doing. They're sucking you dry. 
causing all this drama for you. Why? No, you cannot have a body like this around you and go for someone else. You need to have room. You need to make space available for a person to involve themselves in your life. And if this person is involved themselves and anchored them in because you're friends with them, you know, that's not being uh, brave, you know, that's being bold and brave and, and aggressive towards your friendship, not where you want to go spiritually for your own happiness. So, guys, let's see. Bottom of the deck. You need to walk away from this. Look. You need to be out like Scout. And I don't mean to be so bold, uh, you know, oh, it's easier said than done. Spirit is giving you an incentive right here. Take the, the, the young, aggressive, bold, put your effort into taking this initiative for yourself and make your own path, not a path that is connected to this person. Okay, because they're taking advantage of you. And if you, they're telling you, look, you need to go in and meditate, ask your angels for help. They will put rocks, boulders, anything in this person's way just so they can't get to you. A tornado will come in between your city and theirs. You best believe it. All right, guys. Just we'll get a little food for thought. Oops. Okay, there you go. Look, it flipped on your reading. If you got a new puppy, what would you name it? Ah. If you got a new best friend, would you name it? What would you name it? Would you name it this? Oh, I don't want that. They're telling me a joke. Maybe name your new puppy. The, you know what I mean? <laughs> oh my gosh, can't believe I'm going to say this. If you miss saying the name that much, get a puppy. All right, guys. <laughs> I'm sorry. That is hilarious. And if this reading resonates with you, please smash that like button. And guys, thank you. Um, wow consider subscribing if you have and I still can't get over that joke they just sent me. Alright, I love y'all. Namaste.